28-year-old boy whose mother lost her job because of the pandemic has come up with a way to help his family. And in turn, he's also inspiring people all over the world. For the first time now and only on NBC4, John Caddis Klimak takes us to Aaron Gardens. There's like three stacks of these and they're all succulents. The plan started with simple succulents. These are pretty. Yep. They only need to spray in a little bit of water. But the CEO of what's become Aaron's Garden says it's grown into much more. Are these all the plants that you sell, buddy? Mm-hmm. Aaron Pacheco is eight years old, and yet he's the man of the house. Or in this case, the shed. Aaron, his little sister, and his mom live inside this gray 12 by 6 wooden shed, an offer they accepted to avoid living on the streets. Well, we've been in shelters, and we've been um, in people's houses. And we know stay in a shed due to COVID. We lost my job. A temporary home, they hope. So as it, we call it our mansion because it's, it's going to be a piece of what God's going to do us in the future. You know, he's testing us. This one? Which is why Aaron is taking his new role so seriously. Two? Yeah, that's four dollars. A learning lesson he shares openly with anyone who asks. I started selling plants because one day we, my mom only had twelve dollars because she lost her job. And then we want to go um, buy some plants, then we investigated, invested, um, when we sold the plants, we got $16, then invested more. He inspires me, he makes me cry at night, you know, all the support we've been having, at, it's hard, it's difficult. Aaron's garden has become a social media sensation. He posts his location daily on Instagram, bringing dozens to buy his plants and ultimately invest in his family's future. So I want to bring my sister Eileen back and get a bigger place. He has an older sister in Mexico he hasn't seen in two years. A difficult decision to say goodbye because of the difficult living situation for the family. It's like a whole room, but it's the whole house. They hope Aaron's garden will get them closer to Aaron's new home. We have God and we have each other, so we're grateful to whatever we have. In Highland Park, John Cadiz Klimak, NBC4 News.